Luke Taylor here with your Whale Sports video update. I've returned from my trip to Sela in the 2A state softball championships with a bit of a tan and my playoff beard still intact as it's hard to let those playoff aspirations die. And the Anacortes girls softball team learned that lesson in the cruelest of ways this weekend as they bowed out of the state tournament for the fifth consecutive year. The Hawks came up just short of reaching that elusive state championship game. I know what a tournament it was for the six Seahawks seniors. They came into the year with such high aspirations and uh, they left the go-ahead runs on base in the state semifinal game that would have catapulted them to the state title game. Anna Cordes would go on to lose to WF West to conclude their tournament play. They went two for two in the tournament and had two monster, high energy, high impact, just fight them out due to the battle of games. One against West Valley that they won, one against Squim that they did not. And to tell the truth, hey, Anna Cordes played excellent, excellent softball throughout the tournament and just ran into some very good teams. WF West, by my calculation, was probably the third or fourth best team at the tournament. They took third. So that calculation runs true. Everybody knows West Valley was 25 and one coming into that Anacortes game and ended up 25 and two, and then got beat by WF West uh, to go home. Squim, they end up winning the whole dang thing. So they beat Ellensburg. You're talking about your top five or six teams, and uh, Anacortes faced three of them and was one of them. So no one played as tough of a schedule at the state tournament as Anacortes did. No one saw the quality of teams that they did, and in the end, it was just a little too much. Anacortes, I was, I was asked a lot when they lost that final game to WF West 10 to nothing. Man, did they just give up? Did they just stop trying? And my response will be till the day I die that it would have taken, taken a great effort for Anacortes to beat a great WF West team and at that point in the tournament. They just didn't have anything in the tank. Anacortes had burned through so much, battling back to beat West Valley 10 to 8 in extra innings, battling back from a four-run deficit in the bottom of the seventh inning against all all luck against Squim, battling back to get that close to going to the state title. They just didn't have much left in the tank. They had battled and battled all tournament, and uh, there just wasn't enough to go around to beat a good WF West team and move in to the 3-4 game. So at the end of the day, what a great tournament for the Anacortes Seahawks girls softball squad. Those seniors for the fourth consecutive year and Coach Tom Spot for the fifth come up a little short of that state title dream. But in the end, it's not always the best team that wins. It's just a team that gets on a roll and a team that gets a little bit of luck, a little bounces uh, to go their way. Like Squim, turns a triple play against Santa Cordes and then at the most opportune time gets a line drive double play uh, to really help seal the Seahawks' fate. Squim goes on to the championship and wins 2-1 to one to scores two runs to beat Ellensburg as, as everybody's tired on that last day of the state tournament. And that's pretty much uh, what we can say about the state softball tournament. And I've been to the state football championships. I've been to the basketball finals in the Tacoma Dome. I've been to a lot of the other high school sports scenes around the state. But I can tell you that that state softball tournament, its format, the way it's played, double headers, four games going constantly, there's nothing that beats that excitement. You cannot have the agony of defeat right here and the thrill of victory right next to it on a field just 60 feet away. It just doesn't happen anywhere else uh, at any level anywhere so if you've never been to CLF, you've never been to any of the state softball tournaments you really ought to think of going next year it's just it's too good of a time and to tell you the truth You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll probably wish you weren't there, but in the end, you'll be happy you did go. I certainly was, and I know John was, John, my, my counterpart there on the radio side, and we just had a great time, even though Anna Cordes came up a little short. It was just a really great time in CELA. we got to thank a ton of people, uh, including our sponsors, for getting us there. You guys, the listeners, and everybody who texted us and called in and said, hey, I'm listening, we always appreciate that. A lot of the Anna Cordes High School parents, in fact, all of them, uh, chipped in, helping us with score updates from the other field. Uh, Doc Rieger giving us a tent when just a torrential downpour came down there in Sela, and just a great community effort and uh, in the end that's what's important and that almost does it for us. I'll be back tomorrow to wrap up the entire spring sports season as a lot of local area prepsers years did end with dreams come true. A lot of local titles uh, out there that we gotta, we gotta talk about uh, but that'll all happen tomorrow for now. It's Memorial Day, a little day of remembrance, remembering the season that was for the Anacorta softball squad. A tremendous season season and again just comes up a tiny bit short but to no fault uh, of the players on what a year congratulations to coach Tom Swap is 32nd and another great one uh, we'll be back tomorrow and until then with your whale sports update I'm Luke Taylor